Welcome back to another learning studio in two minutes. In today's video, we're going to take a look at functions. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. Okay, so I think functions are thought to be a lot more complex than they actually are. You can think of a function just like a container for your code. To create a function in Roblox, you're just going to say local and then the word function. After the word function will be the name of your function, just like we did for variables. After the name of the function, you're always going to put parentheses. Sometimes you might see something inside the parentheses, which is called a parameter, but we're going to cover that in a separate video. After that, you're just going to put whatever lines of code that you want to run inside the function. Okay, so there's two steps to actually using a function. Part of it's going to be actually creating it, which is this section up here, and the other part is running the function. So even though I created the function up here, it's not going to actually do anything until I run the function down here. And running the function is sometimes called calling the function. This function right here has a couple different print lines in it. So when we call the function right here, this part is going to run and it's going to print out the word this is my function. All right, so let's go and run the code and we can check it out. Okay, and we can see down here in the output, we have the word this is my function. And just to show you how this works, if I remove the function call, which is this part right here, even though the function is created, it's not going to actually do anything. And we can see down in the output here, nothing happened because we didn't actually use the function. And one of the nice things about functions is it helps to organize your code. So instead of having to type out these four lines of code every single time I want to do it, I can just call the function as many times as I want to. So let's go and take a look and see what happens. And we can see in the output, we have the message repeated quite a few times. Okay, so just to recap, there's two parts to using a function. The first part is creating the function, which is this step right here. And then the second step is to call the function or to use the function, which is this part down here. And to call the function, all you have to do is just say the name of it with parentheses. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.